So how do we help our customers save energy? Through enabling automation and monitoring energy consumption for your connected smart home devices. Hi, my name is Michael Williams. I'm a senior solutions architect on the Alexa team. And I'm Sanjeev Sridharan, and I'm a senior product marketing manager on the Alexa team. We are here to walk you through some of the new smart features for monitoring energy consumption with your smart home devices and using hunches for enabling device automation to help save energy. In today's agenda, we're going to start with explaining Amazon's climate pledge. We will then look at the energy dashboard and proactive hunches for automation, followed by some demos from partners we have worked with previously, and then a quick recap. Today, we'll look at what Amazon is doing to protect the planet and how Alexa innovations are supporting the company's commitment. We plan to be 100% net zero carbon by 2040 and 100% renewable energy across all business operations by 2030. At Alexa, we believe we have an opportunity to support this commitment by building solutions for customers to help minimize their energy consumption. The Alexa Energy Dashboard allows customers to track energy consumed by their connected devices. Let's take a look. Alexa can now help you manage the energy consumed by compatible smart devices in your home. And you can do it right in the Alexa app. Say hello to the Energy Dashboard, an easy way to participate in making a positive impact on the planet. Whether you have a single light bulb or a fully connected home. To get started, simply download the latest version of the Alexa app now you can access the dashboard. Here's where you can track the energy usage of connected Alexa-enabled devices. You can also see personal insights, recommended actions, and helpful tips. The dashboard also lets you enable automatic actions. That means if Alexa has a hunch that you're away and you've forgotten to turn off a light, Alexa can turn it off for you, helping you save energy without even thinking about it. You can use it with other Alexa-enabled devices like water heaters and thermostats too. It's a smart and convenient way to help your home be kinder to the world around it. Every device, every home, and every day counts. Let's make a difference together. Let's take a closer look at the energy dashboard. It allows customers to track energy consumed by their smart home devices. They also have the option to view insights into how much energy they are consuming daily and can track any patterns to identify days where they may be consuming more than others. This gives customers the opportunity to be more efficient. From your customer's standpoint, the energy dashboard is very simple to use. They can download the latest version of the Alexa app, navigate to the devices page, and click the energy dashboard button to start monitoring the energy consumption of their supported devices. So how can device makers connect their devices to the energy dashboard? In order to onboard your device to the energy dashboard, you will need to implement the alexa.deviceusage.meter interface so that your customers can monitor their energy use such as electricity and natural gas. If your device doesn't measure energy consumption directly, like say a light bulb or a television, use the alexa.deviceusage.estimation interface instead. A very important point, unlike other interfaces, proactive reporting isn't optional. When you support the meter or estimation interfaces, your devices are required to send the measurements report for energy consumption for a particular time period. These measurements reports are like proactive state updates your devices send to Alexa on a regular basis. To reiterate, you have to send measurements report events to the Alexa event gateway at times that are uniformly distributed throughout the day. This essentially becomes the interval at which the energy use data is transmitted from your device to Alexa. For example, between 9 to 10 a.m., which is a one-hour interval, a customer had a reading of 113 kilowatts. Similar readings are reported back to Alexa every hour. Let's now look at payload examples for the Alexa.deviceusage interface and the measurements report. As you can see, you can provide the Alexa.deviceusage.meter capability and outline measurement detail in the capability sections of the discovery response. The meter interface is different than Alexa interfaces in that you aren't supporting voice user interactions. Instead, you're communicating with Alexa about energy usage so that Alexa can report that to the customer. There are no utterances associated with this interface. 
In this code sample, unit is a unit of measurement for the energy source, such as milliwatt hour or cubic foot. The measuring method is to measure energy directly from the device using meter or estimated. If the measuring method is meter, it means the device can report its energy usage back to Alexa. Estimated means the device cannot report the energy usage to Alexa, but we can estimate the energy consumption based on the device type. For example, light bulbs cannot report energy usage to Alexa, but we can estimate wattage based on what is on its packaging. The default resolution is the sample time period in seconds. This example has the default resolution as 3600 seconds or one hour. We recommend a minimum resolution of 3600 seconds, that's hourly, and a maximum resolution of 86,400 seconds, that is daily. Let's take a closer look at measurements report payload. In this example, measurements report contains the following. Like all Alexa requests, the header will include a unique message ID. The payload will contain the endpoint ID uniquely identifying your smart home device. Then we report the interval readings. Each interval must specify a start and end time, and intervals should not contain overlapping time periods. In this case, we are reading electricity consumption hourly. Each device onboarded to the energy dashboard will have to send these events to the Alexa inbound gateway. For estimating the energy use of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system, or HVAC system, you will have to implement the alexa.thermostatcontroller.hvac components interface in your Alexa skill. An HVAC system can be modeled as having the following components, a heating system, a cooling system, and a ventilation fan. Each of these components can support multiple stages, such as low, medium, and high. To estimate the power consumption of your connected HVAC system, you must notify Alexa about how long the HVAC system stays in each stage. Let's look at payload examples for HVAC. In addition to the usual discovery response fields for HVAC.components, include a configuration object that matches the fields with the components of your HVAC system. Number of primary heater operations identifies the number of operating stages that the primary heating component supports. You must obviously include this field if your device has heating capability. Number of cooler operations identifies the number of operating stages that the cooling component supports. And you must include this field if your device has cooling capability. And finally, number of fan operations identifies the number of operating stages that the ventilation fan component supports. And you must include this field if your device has a fan. Let's now look at an example of how HVAC systems send change reports to Alexa. This code sample illustrates a change report after the primary heat stage increases. The HVAC system supports primary heater operation, auxiliary heater operation, and fan operation, but doesn't support cooler operation. This state update is telling Alexa, the device is currently at stage two heating, auxiliary heating is off, fan operation is set to stage one, that is low fan speed setting. For anyone unfamiliar with auxiliary heating, it uses electrical resistance to heat your home. It is less efficient, consumes more energy, and should only be on when the outside temperature is below freezing. So why are state reports and change reports important? That's because it is on the basis of these updates that the energy consumed and the device runtime is reported to the energy dashboard. Now let's take a look at device requirements by category. This table shows the different device types for lighting. The three important callouts are, all devices are expected to send measurement reports at hourly intervals. You must also be reporting proactive state updates for on and off and brightness so that Alexa knows device runtime and intensity for energy calculation. And finally, customers can input the wattage for the light bulb as these differ across manufacturers. Alexa will use all these variables to provide an accurate energy use estimate. This table here now shows the device requirements for thermostats and water heaters. Thermostats require measurement reports hourly and water heaters require measurement reports daily. You must also be sending proactive state updates for different HVAC components for device runtime such as fan speed and heating and cooling modes. Again, all these variables are inputs for calculating accurate energy consumption. Let's have a look at some example views from the customer energy dashboard for lighting. On this screen, you can see a breakdown of wattage per day for all lighting devices. On this one, you can see a breakdown of device runtime per day for all lighting devices. 
This is why it is important for a device maker to be sending accurate on-off proactive state updates for lighting as device runtime is calculated based on when Alexa receives an on and off state update. On this screen, you can see that your customers can choose to list the individual devices reporting energy. They can also select a particular device for customizing settings that can potentially impact the energy calculations via the Insights page. Let's look at an example of a thermostat device reporting energy consumption. Customers here can add in heating equipment type, uh, include various home factors, and all of these variables will be used to increase the accuracy of energy estimate calculations. To summarize, in this section, we looked at how customers can set up their energy dashboard and how you, as the device maker, can enable your devices to report energy consumption to Alexa. So let's wrap up this section with benefits you accrue as a device maker as a result of the energy dashboard before moving on to Alexa hunches. Michael? So what is the benefit to device makers? Devices who have onboarded to the Alexa.device usage interfaces gain additional exposure on the smart energy device storefront on Amazon.com. Not only are we giving customers the ability to view their device energy consumption, customers can enable proactive and predictive experiences to save energy. Hunches give customers the ability for Alexa to suggest actions when she senses that devices are not in the states they would prefer. For example, if you say goodnight, but Alexa spots that there is still a light on in the house, she can turn it off for you. Before taking any action, she will ask if you want to have that light turned off, and only if you say yes will she proceed. Let's take a look. Hunches is an Alexa feature that can help you control compatible devices in your home, like lights, thermostats, and vacuums, by learning about your daily habits. For example, if Alexa has a hunch you left a light on before you went to bed, Alexa can either let you know or automatically turn it off for you. If you usually leave a certain light on, Alexa will too. Hunches make every day easier. You can give Alexa permission to take automatic actions right in the Alexa app. That means instead of turning down the heat or starting the robot vacuum before you leave for work, you can just walk out the door. Alexa can take care of the rest. Whether you have a single smart bulb or a fully connected home, it's a simple way Alexa can help make every day more convenient. Just think about all the things you won't have to think about. Using the Alexa app, a customer can choose to opt in devices to hunches individually. Once opted in, when Alexa detects if a user is home away or asleep, a hunch will be sent to the smart home device to adjust settings in order to save energy. If a customer is detected as away from their home, thermostat temperatures will decrease to save energy. Onboarding devices to hunches differs by device type. If onboarding a light bulb or water heater, using the meter or estimation interface as mentioned previously is all we need. But to onboard a thermostat device, you must implement the Alexa.automation management interface. The Alexa.automation management interface uses the automation status property to identify whether the user is automating their device through your skill or app. You must also send your automation status updates through state reports and change reports. For those of you unfamiliar with state reports or change reports, these are known as proactive state updates. They are HTTP requests containing device state sent from devices or 3P Cloud to the Alexa event gateway. That way Alexa has the most current state for your device. For more info on this, see another Alexa Live presentation called Enabling Proactive Experiences with the Smart Home API. You will send status automated if you are automating the interface and not automated if you aren't automating the interface. Currently for other device types, the Alexa.automation management interface is not available. Let's look at a few payload examples. The additional capacity supporting automation status simply identifies whether a device will respond to Alexa hunches. The Alexa thermostat controller is the capability that will be controlled by Alexa hunches. Thus, hunches can now set the temperature on the customer's thermostat device. This example illustrates a change report for a device that supports the Alexa.automation management 
Alexa.thermostat controller, Alexa.temperature sensor, and Alexa.endpoint health interfaces. If your device is a thermostat, you can control the automation of the thermostat. Alternatively, your customer can ask Alexa to automate the thermostat by using hunches, in which case Alexa is controlling the automation of the thermostat. In this case, your automation status property has changed, so it appears in the payload, while the other properties haven't changed, so they appear in the context. What are the device maker benefits gained by enabling hunches? Well, automation equals energy saving. Hunches bring a smarter product experience, helping your customers save energy and cost. Now let's look at some demos from partners who have onboarded devices to the energy dashboard and hunches. Residio is one of our largest HVAC partners who have onboarded their thermostats to the energy dashboard and enabled hunches for automating temperature control. Let's watch this in action. Looking at Alexa Smart Energy for Residio thermostats, we can navigate to the energy dashboard to view the energy consumed per day or by device runtime per day. We can also navigate to the device settings from the dashboard to view energy estimation settings, which are used to estimate monthly bill based on GPS locations and heating equipment. This provides full transparency into what energy is being consumed for your Residio thermostats. Now on to hunches. Here we will see how to opt in a Residio thermostat device. From the device settings page, we can select hunches and the setup automatic actions button. Next, we can set your preferred active sleep temperatures. So when Alexa detects everyone is asleep, she can set cooler temperatures to help promote better sleep. We can also set preferred temperatures for home and away. So Alexa can change temperatures to help reduce energy consumption. We then set the GPS location for your home, so Alexa knows when you are away. And once complete, looking at the screen on the left, you'll see the Residio thermostat device state change to be scheduled by Alexa. Let's take a look at receiving a hunch from Alexa. If Alexa detects that you have left the home, she will send a hunch to set the Residio thermostat to your preferred away temperature setup during opt-in. On the left, you can see the thermostat change to 83 degrees. Then if Alexa detects we return home, she will then set the thermostat to your preferred home temperature, in this case, 76 degrees. iRobot is one of the first companies to onboard robotic vacuums to hunches. In this case, when a customer leaves their home, your iRobot devices will start vacuuming. Let's see this in action. The opt-in process for robotic vacuums is much quicker this time as we already set our home location previously. We go to the devices page, select hunches and select the setup automatic actions button. Follow the prompts and once completed, our vacuum is now ready for automation. Let's take a look at receiving a hunch from Alexa. If Alexa detects that you have left the home, she will then tell the iRobot vacuum to start vacuuming. As a quick recap, we looked over the energy dashboard and how a customer can monitor their energy. We also looked at proactive hunches for automating devices to save energy. And finally, the device manufacturers gain exposure by listing their products on the smart energy device storefront on amazon.com. Through hunches, they can provide a better product experience to their customers helping them save energy and cost. So how do we get started? By visiting the links on your screen, the developer documentation is the best place to begin integrating your devices. If you'd like more information, please visit the documentation and get started with the Energy Dashboard and Hunches today. Thanks a lot for attending and check out other Smart Home sessions at Alexa Live to seamlessly enable your devices to work with Alexa.